Hi you guys and welcome back to the Fibberizimas. Today I have you guys in my garage. We are going to unbox my 55 gallon barrel that finally came after two months. I have been waiting for two months for this barrel. Um, it's been on the island since September or maybe even the end of August. It, was, it has been on the island. Um, I got a call. I got a call saying that it was here and then they had to clear it. Customs had to clear it. Um, so here are the papers that I needed. This is my paper saying that my barrel was here. And then this is the, the paperwork for me to, um, that they required for the 36 pounds of cat food that I had in my barrel. And I did that on September 12th. And today is September 23rd. So I have been waiting. My barrel has been stocked up in customs for about two weeks. Lena, get from under there. You guys, I have to keep an eye on Thumpelina. She just gets into stuff. She's never been in this area before, so she's very curious. Um, let me move her. Come on out. Oh, y'all, that's my curious cat. All right, so we got our paper. So I paid extra for them to deliver to the house and also for them to go through customs so I wouldn't have to go through my barrel and the whole nine yards. So that's finally happened. They brought it yesterday. Now everything was in the barrel sealed and secure before it got to the island, but because customs had to go inside and check everything, um, they brought it like this with two bags of cat food on the top. I guess because they couldn't fit it or whatever because this is very a uh, lot. Lena, you're gonna go in the house if you don't be quiet. My cats eat special food. They didn't have any food. So I bought them four bags of fussy cat. They love fussy cat. It's good for their stomach. It's really, really good. So that's one thing that was in the barrel. I bought them, I bought them enough food that'll last us for the entire time that we're here. There's another bag of that. This is what the barrel looks like. This is the seal and this is the, the lid. It's a plastic barrel. Um, here is more cat food, another bag of that. And this is what was, I can smell my cleaning products. You can put everything in here. So why would you wanna get a barrel? You wanna get a barrel because if the country that you're going to may be the Caribbean, I only know about barrels in the Caribbean. Lena. 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 Get from out of here. Come. Gosh, y'all. Um, I only know about a barrel from the Caribbean. You would send yourself a few things if it's overpriced in that country or you can't find it um there's a, there's many different reasons as to why somebody would bring um why somebody would pack a barrel so i'm in barbados so i know that i can't get this cat food here they've been eating fussy cat um they've been eating meow mix so i can't get that from here okay so that's four big bags of that I hope my cleaning stuff didn't spill, you guys. Um, because I can smell it. I bought some Canada Dry for my husband. This is a giant bag, I don't even know how many pounds this is, but I sealed it up, you tape everything up. This is Fufu Mix, pounded yam uh, Fufu Mix for my husband. He's, oh, my husband's African, Nigerian. This is Gari, this is another swallow you can use. This is, he can make, my husband can make cereal out of this, this is Gari, so this is, a big pound, I don't know how many pounds this is. 15, it looks like 152 ounces, so I got that for him. Uh, 
um, a big thing of pancake mix. This looks like it's okay. It's smushed, but it looks like it's okay. I got myself some detergent, dishwashing detergent. Um, this is the cat's food barrel in here. I put And here I stuff sea moss, um, noodles, Indomie noodles, peanut butter. Um, their wet cat food is in here. This is their wet cat food, which is the same brand of the hard food. Can you guys imagine me wearing a wig, a wig or anything connected to my hair? I had to lock my hair before, I started the process of locking my hair it started out as twist and then I was like I might as well keep it because I'm getting ready to go to another country anyway that's hot and that was the best thing that I could have did it is so hot I could not imagine wearing a wig or even makeup here it is hot 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 I would open this garage it is ventilation there is um ventilation and it's open air can come in here I would open this but she's here I don't want her to run out through that gate It looks like something in here did spill, you guys. I don't know what it is yet. I have a 20 pound bag of jasmine rice. My favorite. I don't think my husband's ever had jasmine rice before. I don't know, you guys. This don't look right. This is squishy. I'm scared of, I'm scared about this. I don't know. I got some syrup, Pringles. I got drinks, lots of these, lots of these drinks. Arizona, lots of Arizona. Something looks like it didn't make it. Juices. I've got a lot of juices. Ketchup, my favorite ketchup, Heinz. I got this peanut butter PB fit for my, um, what's spilled? Something spilled. For my smoothies in the morning. This pasta went bad. Oh, this pasta didn't do well. Look at that. Look how this pasta turned out. Wow. All the pasta didn't do good. What is this powder? What is that? Yeah, that's no good. That was my chickpea pasta because I'm not I'm not eating certain pastas. I have walnuts, Pringles for my husband. Here is some regular spaghetti pasta. This did okay. Oh, man, it sucks. This is more pasta. These pastas actually did good. I wonder why the other ones didn't. This is oat milk. The way this um, the way this container feels, I don't know, you guys. I have to check and see if it's okay. 
because it doesn't feel, it feels squishy and it just, I don't know. All these pastas that I bought, the chickpea pasta that has, I don't know if that's mold or what. I mean, it has been in this barrel for two months, so I don't know. But these pastas are good. These spaghetti pastas are really good. This is ground agusi for my husband. Another case of Canada Dry. Ooh, y'all. Hot, on you. I got myself some deodorant. Scrub daddy, scrub mommies. <laughs> More juice. Scrub mommy, I'm so excited to have that. I love scrub daddy products. Okay. All this pasta that I got has gone bad. How is that possible? All the chickpea pasta that I had, let me see when the expiration date is. It all got, looks like mildew or something. What happened to this pasta? Best before 2025. It says best before 2025, but look what happened to the inside of it. Why does that look like that? Why does that pasta look like that from the inside? It's changed colors and it has like, what is that? I wonder if I need to rinse it off. I wonder, but no other pasta looks like that. I don't trust it. No, I don't trust that. More drink. Um, vegetable oil. Peanut oil. Avocado oil. More a goosey for my husband. Um, palm oil for all my husband's dishes. And I sealed everything. If you can see some of them I sealed with tape. Um, grapeseed oil. More juices. I'm trying to get this. Uh... <gasps> you guys, this whole thing is empty. It has a crack in it. Oh. This has a crack in it, you guys. The whole thing is empty. I know the bottom of that barrel is filled with this. There's nothing in it. Nothing. And I knew I smelled it when I opened the, that really sucks. That really, really sucks. At the bottom of the barrel, we have seasonings, um, nuts, other snacks that I packed, coconut water, Popcorn, a giant thing of seasoning. All my all my good seasonings are down here. I'm gonna have to get to the bottom of this and I have to clean it out because 
it's a mess at the bottom. That entire laundry thing, the entire laundry detergent busted out of this. I don't know if it's because of the pressure. I don't know. It had a hole in it. I don't know. And it wasn't at the very bottom. It was on top of these cans. So the canned goods are beans, um, tomato sauce, tomato paste. Um, I have seasoning. I'll never need to buy seasoning again. So I need to go through this and do another video of me um, putting this stuff away. Scrub mommy, um, mixture of tea. <sighs> Coconut flour. More PB fit. Super wash, baking soda, arm and hammer. Um, um, so yeah, you guys, this is mostly everything. Okay, look at my face, you guys. Can you imagine me wearing a wig? Can you imagine? I'm outside. There's ventilation in here. Can you imagine me wearing a wig or makeup? Please. Locking my hair was the best decision I could have ever made for myself being here. Um... So yeah, you guys, that's the barrel. Cat food, my food, my husband's food, my oils, the things that I use. Um, the laundry detergent was a total loss. Um, I still need to go at the bottom of that barrel and fix. I need to go to the bottom of the barrel and I need to clean it. Um, would you guys try to save that, that detergent? and still use it i don't know you guys i don't know i mean i think it's a total loss but i was surprised that the oils how come that container busted and got a hole in it but these oils didn't everything else was perfect and then the pasta was a total loss can you guys help me understand what happened to that pasta like it has green stuff on it like green dust and it's not expired what was that did something get into it i don't know you guys but i think i think the barrel did pretty good overall it's to be expected you just never know everything was packed so tightly so i still don't understand how that exploded or whatever that pasta really has me sad i'm not gonna lie the pasta has me really really sad because I'm only eating a certain type of pasta now and it's going to be really hard for me to find it on the island or it's going to be overpriced. <sighs> two and it's been over two months. It's been over two months that I've been waiting. I, I packed the barrel and everything way before I got here. So it's actually been longer than two months. So overall overall i'm positive and i'm i'm overall happy that it's here um yeah you guys this is what it is a barrel i think it's worth it i think a barrel is worth it i paid all together 400 barbados dollars which is 200 dollars to clear it and to bring it to my house they went through it checked it but yeah you guys all right i'll see you guys in the next video um, love you guys. Bye.